And you know those postcards that say, wish you were here? Well, one of our viewers has given that phrase a whole new meaning. 11 is to Weather Plus meteorologist Ava Marie explains. Recognize the people in this photo? That's Tom Tasselmeyer and the rest of the InstaWeather Plus team. At the moment, we're 2,000 miles away from Baltimore, at the bottom of Death Valley. Or at least we were there in spirit, thanks to the creativity of one of our viewers. For the past year, the WBAL meteorologists have been traveling vicariously through Crofton resident Art Husanica. In February, we were at the top of Mount Washington in New Hampshire. In April, our flat selves hiked the Grand Canyon. But our latest trip in October was the greatest highlight of all, as Art took us to the highest and lowest places in the country. For this high-low expedition, I did the low portion first and uh, traversed Death Valley, but uh, the isolation, when I got out there in the middle of Badwater Basin, in the middle of Death Valley, the total isolation was so quiet. The terrain was extremely jagged Working due to the evaporation of recent rain. Yep. Art hiked the nine miles alone, but kept in contact with his wife for safety. Karen, on all of my trips, she's fantastic. She's a great base camp manager. Even if she's sitting in a jacuzzi with a drink in one hand and a satellite phone in the other hand. Art reached the low point at 1 p.m., 280 feet below sea level with temperatures in the 90s. Days later, Art set out on part two of his adventure, a 22-mile solo hike on Mount Whitney, the highest point in the lower 48 states. It took him 24 hours to reach the top, with an overnight rest in between. At the summit, it was 25 degrees, with winds up to 35 miles per hour. His high-low mission was complete after months of training. From trail runs in the peak of summer to stair climbs with a fully loaded pack, he even found creative ways to train around the house. you got to take every advantage to train. Art admits that ego plays a role in his motivation, but staying fit is what drives him the most. My doctor tells me, Art, you know, you're the most fit 63-year-old, well, I'm almost 64, I don't mind admitting that, that I've ever met. I don't want to retire. I don't want to retire from life. Let's keep it going, full throttle. Talk about a pretty sweet deal. Art did all the heavy lifting, and we ended up with these awesome souvenirs. In Crofton, Ava Marie, WBAL-TV 11 News.